Good morning, everybody. It is Monday the 15th. <clears throat> um, uh, excuse me. Allergies this morning have not been my friend. I woke up with some sinus congestion um, and like a sore throat from post-nasal drip. So it's going to be an icky, well, I shouldn't say icky Monday, but it's going to be one of those Mondays where I'm half suffering. Anyhow, um, to get the show on the road, I guess you'd say, um, this morning's little quote is, the most high rules the kingdom of man and sets, sits, I'm sorry, let me redo that. My eyes are having trouble focusing this morning, even with these glasses. It's part of allergy season, yay. Um, anyhow, uh, the Most High God rules the kingdom of mankind and set over it whom he will. Sets over it whom he will. That's from Daniel 521 ESV. As you can tell, Max Lucado uses a lot of different Bibles for different quotes. Um, I'm going to have to look up what the ESV is. Anyhow. Um, I'm going to apologize for a lot of, to a lot of you because I know some of you don't like this part of me, or this version of me, because of, I'm groggy, my sinuses are bugging the crud out of me, my throat's bugging the crud out of me, um, the only thing helping my throat right now is hot tea, yeah. well, I'm going to talk a little bit about yesterday. As y'all know, yesterday was a Sunday. It was supposed to be my slow day. No, it wasn't. In fact, it was the worst Sunday work-wise that I've had in a while. Not because of the job itself. Uh, I'm not complaining about my job. What I'm saying is, well, I'll tell you what happened. I got in yesterday, and the first thing that I was told... Um, was it was going to be a busy day, and I went, why? It's Sunday. It's never really busy on Sunday. Well, this is the reason why. Our sister store in town, um, somebody d decided to try to make it a drive through And what I mean by that is somebody drove their vehicle, they said a pickup truck, through the front door. Now, I don't know how far they got. The front door is probably wide enough to get the front end in through the door. Um, I didn't go over there to check it out. I kind of want to do that today, but who knows how much they've got fixed up. I should have done it last night after work, but I was just so wanting to get home. But due to that issue um, at, at the other store... Um, Lunchtime at my store was slammed. Um, they had issues because of the whole situation and, and whatnot. The computer, the pizza ordering computer system um, crashed because it was so slammed, inundated, however you want to put it, with people wanting pizzas. So it was kind of like, oh, um, Luckily, we got it up and running, or it got up run, up and running in time for dinner. Like, I got there too, so let's say about 2.33 o'clock, the system came back up. Um, so, we got hit with all the loyal customers who love Casey's and would prefer to go to Casey's 
for whatever reason, um, than any other store. And I, and the lunch rush or dinner rush, oh boy, that was, um, luckily the, the guy that was working the pizzas for the evening time, um, is good. I mean, really good. He had a three different orders and the total number of pizzas between in those three orders equal to be about 13 pizzas in all. Um, our system gives the customer, tells the customer, um, give us 15 minutes per order. Yeah. When you're getting slammed the way you, we got, um, we were lucky enough to get all 13 of those pizzas done within a 25 to 30 minute period. Um, normally on a Sunday we go through three, two to three buckets worth of pizza dough. We went through six that night and he had eight in the cooler, which was like, thank God we had at least enough dough ready to deal with our rush, our, our night. The rush for the evening started about 5.30, o'clock. Did not end until almost 5 till 10. So, needless, needless to say, I got my cleaning done. At least I got my cleaning done. I didn't get my facing... I didn't get my stocking. I didn't, you know, a lot of little things like that that I don't worry about that much. Um, I didn't get done. I wrote a note to the boss. Um, from from what I understood, um, the, the supervisor on duty last or yesterday morning um, had basically notified our store manager um, what was going on what happened so I'm hoping between my note and the information she had because of the other store um there won't be too many headaches today um I'm pretty sure she's going to have more than enough of her own issues to deal with because don't know if that other source don't know if our other store is going to be open um it's also Monday which means truck delivery day so yeah, the repercussions from yesterday will probably be minor compared to what we have to deal with today. I mean, from what I understand, nobody got hurt, or at least there was no report about injuries or, or things like that from the other store, which is something I was thankful for. Because I've got a handful of friends that work over there in the other store so yeah that was a fun part of the night excuse me I thought I was going to sneeze um the other fun part of the night is somebody stopped in last night that I have not seen in a good year um she was one of my co-workers from Taco Bell um, I treated her like a daughter. I, when, when I worked with her over at Taco Bell, I treated her like either a daughter or a kid's sister because she's early 20s, I think. She's a good kid. I mean, I felt sorry for her at Taco Bell because a lot of times when she was doing the drive through headset and whatnot by herself, she would get a little flustered because of just the rushes. Um, I don't know how many times while I was on duty, I was helping her out. Mainly because that was my best area. People enjoyed my sense of humor and whatnot. And, you know, it was one of the better jobs I have had here in Rolla. Uh, but, yeah, anyhow, um, today's Monday, and it's truck delivery day, 
And I kind of hope that they don't mess with um, the, the tobacco. Because when I was gone last Monday and they put away the tobacco, their method of putting away stuff is just, just put it in a hole. Oh, look, there's a space right here. We don't care if it's, you know, organized or anything like that. We're just going to screw things over. That's fine and dandy. Um, I think part of it is during the daytime, they're so busy that it is easier for them to just get it out of the box and put it in a hole and then let whomever wants to um, organize it. I want to organize it because... Um, then I know where everything is, and it's not trying to dig through misorganized or, or not organized product to try to find a particular brand. I organize where the new stuff is in the front, and it's all by brand. So, that in fact, we have so many holes, in other words, so many out-of-stock product, um, tobacco-wise, that... They could probably put half of the delivery up where it belongs. I don't know. Find out when I get there. Um, most of the people there know that I have this issue with um, things not being stacked properly, I guess you'd say. But I'll figure that out in the next four, five, four to five hours, um, um, I'm sorry, um, oh, um, just a little update on, on our little bird, our little nester outside our front door, um, the other day, I was able to um, step out my door without the bird flying away. I'm sorry, that was rude. That just came out of nowhere. Um, so the bird is getting used to me coming in and out the door and not having to fly, not needing to fly away. I think sometimes... Um, depending on how close I get to the actual nest, depends on the bird's instinct to fly away. I think she's gotten to the point where she realizes I'm not going to harm the nest or do anything to be of harm. So I'm happy about that. I have a Facebook. Um, somebody has put cameras in... Two different birds. One of them is a camera within a starling bird nest. And watching those little things grow up and get feathers and whatnot is kind of fun. And then the other one is in a... Let's see if I, I pronounce this name properly. Kestrel? It's a type of bird of prey. It's um, cousin to the um, Merlin, which is also known as... God, I can't remember what the real name of the Merlin is. It's a type of fal it's a type of 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 um falcon. You can find them. Uh, you you hear a lot about them in New York. They've been nesting in on buildings, uh, le ledges of buildings in New York and whatnot. Um, I don't remember their actual name name, but most people who know the bird. This particular type of falcon, call them the Merlin. Um, they are keen hunters of pigeons, these Merlins. Um, I'm not familiar on the kestrel. Um, it's it's another falcon. Um, but not they're not really known for being in the cities like the Merlin. The Merlins, there was a story about... Um, Someone who was living in an apartment in Manhattan and one morning woke up to noises outside her window. And when she opened the window, there was this 
family of, of Merlin's um, building a nest, basically. She didn't, like, try to chase it off or scare it off. In fact, the bird just kind of looked up like, yeah, um, who are you and what are you doing at this this level um, type situation? But I love the fact of that Mother Nature, especially with the Merlin and its habitat and its hunting patterns and what it hunts, that the fact of that a big city like Manhattan, which has pigeons galore, is finding that these Merlins are, they were almost on the extinct list, but they're finding their way back to the thriving community of not being on the list of, of endangered birds. Mostly because the fact that it's learned, it's somehow learned to live on ledges of buildings near feeding grounds like parks and whatnot. So, because Manhattan has Central Park, is a large park with a lot of pigeons and other birds that a Merlin can hunt. So I'm happy to hear stories like that. Um, just a little tidbit of information. I have stopped watching or looking at Twitter Twitter, and anything that has to do with the political aspect of our lives because it's just becoming so, I don't want to say asinine because that wouldn't be the full spectrum, but when you start to realize that you're watching something that is not only aggravating to you, but it seems to be repetitive, it's almost the same stuff on a regular basis that's like now I don't mean to be like saying that a lot of what's going on around Trump or the campaign trail or anything like that is well try to put it politely aggravating and just full of Not, you know, I'm just, I'm not going to talk anymore about it because it's one of those, it's one of those touchy, touchy situations that a lot of people are getting, you've got two sides of the coin, you've got the side of the coin that think that the person is the greatest thing on the face of the planet, and you've got the opposite side where you've got the group of people who are like, no, he's, he's not, um, Granted, I was too young to vote for uh, Ronald Reagan, but I was one of those people who thought Reagan was one of the best presidents we've had um, for the time, and I still think the same thing. I still think Reagan, in my lifespan, has been the best president we've had, yet there are those who want to point out his, his areas that he wasn't so great, and I'm, I see both sides of the coin, and I go, yeah, I can understand the Reaganomics, as they called it, was not the greatest thing, but he did, Reagan did more good for this nation since JFK. I have not seen a president since then who's done as much good. Now, Yeah, I mean, it's it's one it's it's one of those things where it's hard to to converse about because everybody's going to have their own opinion about each president. So that's what it is. Um, I got to get off this because we got to start cooking. We are going to try, and I don't know if I did a video on this or not, and if I didn't, let me know, and I'll try to do a video next time I get pork chops. But we are making what I call my father's smothered pork chops, which is basically the base ingredients is pork chop, ketchup, soy sauce, no. Yeah, ketchup, soy sauce, apple jelly, 
think those are the three main ingredients mixed together to make the sauce. And then we bake them. But today we're going to try to do them in our Instant Pot. See how quickly that gets cooked. Anyhow, that is the end of today's little vlog. Um, oh, I forgot to put out that one video. Shoot. Um... It's a small video about a rock collection I have. I'll try to put that out. Um, maybe since I'm mentioning, you guys can remind me. Hey, what is the you know the rock video collection or rock collection video? However you want to put it. <laughs> Anyhow, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, any questions or comments? Um, try to stay out of. Let's 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 basically make the comments a non-political zone because I'm trying to get out of the political nonsense um but yeah go ahead put your put your comments questions whatever in the videos or in the comment box wow i need a better wake-up call um if you're new to my um channel and you want to subscribe go ahead and hit that subscribe button and youtube will let you know when i put in a new video when you click the bell and, yeah. Have a good day. God bless. Be safe. Bye.